Right now, Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine rollout is underway all across the country. And one hospital right here in Tampa played a part in helping it get there by conducting a clinical trial. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull is taking us inside their full circle moment. Dr. John Tony knows the impacts of COVID-19 firsthand. It gives you a different perspective on things when you're the one in the bed. Nearly a year ago, spending a week hospitalized. If there was any way I could have prevented getting sick to that degree with COVID. Now the assistant chief for the infectious disease section is welcoming COVID-19 vaccines at James A. Haley Veterans Hospital. So, you know, it, it emphasized to me the vaccines are going to be really important in preventing that because it took me, you know, couple, well, about two and a half months to get back to pretty much where I was before I got that. Um, so, you know, if, if I could get a vaccine that could have prevented that or made it a lot less severe, what a bonus. The hospital administered a clinical trial for Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. We still have people that we're going to follow for a little over a year. Dr. Tony says an advantage is that it's a single dose. You know, it can get out to populations where it would have been really tough to get it to before. Big thing is that it prevents hospitalizations and deaths. The Department of Veteran Affairs says it's received more than 71,000 doses of the vaccine. James A. Haley says it got 1,000 doses it will start distributing Friday across a couple sites. While Bay Pine says it received the same amount. They plan to host off-site clinics reaching underserved communities. Both locations are offering COVID-19 vaccines to all veterans enrolled regardless of age by appointment and to go from that to having three vaccines available about the time that it started hitting the United States last year is incredible in Tampa Haley Bull ABC Action News